And it's time for business now. Nona Palsio joins me in the studio. Hi, Nona. Uh, tr terms of trade continue to improve. Tell us, what is behind the improvement? Well, so the terms of trade are a measure of how much we are spending on imports and how much we're making on exports. And I have to say, these are very strong numbers that we got today. Uh, well, they're headed towards a record strength. And it looks like, according to at least some economists, that the global economic slowdown appears to have passed New Zealand by, given these numbers. So uh, the terms of trade rose 1.9%. That's more than the market was expecting. And uh, certainly... Um, Dairy exports, the value of those, 8.9% increase on the quarter. Very big number. And, that, I mean, the numbers were, you know, at the higher end. The market was expecting something like 5%. So, you know, 89 is is quite strong. And uh, this is quite uh, an important piece of information because when you think about it, people were expecting uh, New Zealanders would have spent more on imports because of the value of our Kiwi. And that didn't eventuate. In fact, total overall imports were flat. There was no increase at all. So, interesting. It. Yeah, pretty interesting. Okay, so other interesting numbers you've been bringing to us on a daily yes. basis are quite huge numbers on the st stock market. So, I know, what's going on? I know you'd love that one. Yeah. Okay, so uh, over the last month, that's November, the NZX Top 50 index rose almost 5% over the month. And over the last week, it rose about 3.5%. And in the year to date, we're talking 28%. And that is the highest and fastest the NZX Top 50 Index, the value of it has grown in, well, since it was started 20 years ago. And as long as things hold up, we're going to have a, a, a you know an ex astounding year for growth on the market. Um, now, it's interesting because global markets had a bit of a dip at the end of last week, but they've picked up a little bit uh, with hope that the United States and China will, in fact, do a deal. But more importantly, China's manufacturing numbers are extraordinarily strong, much more than the market was expecting. So overall, there's a lot of unexpected uh, growth in uh in real numbers. And this is important because sentiment is still somewhat lagging behind. We we almost don't talk about it much because it is quite gloomy. Uh, a little bit of a pickup, but, you know, today, for example, we had some numbers that indicated that small businesses' cash flow and, um, and, and how much money that they are able to uh, well, bill and receive on time is also picking up. So overall, quite a positive picture amid what otherwise would be somewhat gloomy sentiment. The numbers certainly aren't adding up to gloom. So what numbers have you got for us today? Nora? Look, the end, NZX Top 50 uh, drops slightly, but only <laughs> slightly, like 15 points. So that's a very small drop to 11,302. One could say there could have been some profit taking in that. Uh, also, the um, dollar is trading up higher, 64.5 US cents, 95.1 Australian and 49.9 British pence, which is a little bit better than last week. Thanks, Nona. Nona Peltier with all our numbers today.